Hey everyone, so today we're going to go over calendar integrations. So a big part of managing projects is managing deadlines. The good news about this platform is you can actually sync it up to your Google Calendar, iCal, or even Outlooks. So let's go ahead and head over to a date column. Once you click on one of the dates, you can actually hover down here where it says sync calendar. And then from there, you can actually sync it with Google Calendar. So once you click on it, it's going to take a minute to load. And then once it refreshes, you're good to go and you're synced with Google Calendar. But let's assume that you don't use Google Calendar on a daily basis. Let's assume that you use iCal or even Outlooks. Let me show you how to really use a subscription link and sync up those calendars. So this also works on the timeline column too. If you click on one of the start dates, for example, you can click on sync calendar. From here, it's gonna have you copy the URL of the address of this calendar. So once I've copied it, I can actually just sync it over. So let's go over to my iCal. So the good news is I can click on File, New Calendar Subscription. The first step is to paste in the address that we just copied. Once that loads up, you can name the calendar. In this situation, it's a web app project. And then the cool thing about this is for iCal specifically, you can change the auto refresh date to every five minutes, 15 minutes, hour, day, week. We're gonna choose five minutes. Once we hit OK, it's going to take a minute to load up. And you notice right here, all the timelines have loaded over to my entire calendar. So there you have it. That's how you sync both deadlines and also project timelines straight to your iCal or even Google Calendar. So this is going to help you set deadlines and really tackle projects.